Welcome to the Residual Season 2 Episode 9 Commentary. I'm Michael Paul Smith. I play Pete. Hi, I'm Jillian Pensavalli. I play Valerie. And here we have a group of people that we adore. Yes. We could say that, and I think we do say that with every episode. Yes. We just love everybody. Well, I adore you. I stated it publicly on a... It's true. It's legal. So, yeah, there's that. Yeah. I'm going back. Yep. James Tabeek in the middle, Mark Gessner on the right, and uh, you're wearing not one of your t-shirts with words on it. I know, but your t-shirts get a lot of traction. They get a lot of they got a lot of love on Twitter and Facebook. Yeah, I, it's not why I did it, but it it happened. It was I have to say, happy. I'm I'm in that camp because I'm disappointed to see you just in a plain black wow. t-shirt. Wow. Okay. Like, oh, eh, it's kind of boring. I'll uh, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Act accordingly. Yeah. I just realized that that uh, frame is crooked. Mm. That's what happens. You can stare at footage for hours and hours and and focus on little little things. And that I notice when you know, we're doing the commentary. It's just like life, though, man. Crooked. You know, frames are crooked in life, and thus they are crooked in our oh, show. Oh boy, crooked frames. Mm. There's a band name for you. Whoever wants it. Crooked frames. Or an album title. It was so hard for me not to laugh at Patrick doing that. Just, just freaking out and dancing his heart, his little heart out. Yeah, I get Patrick singing. Um, I like to go apple picking in my head just randomly throughout my life. Um, I think it's so funny. We had the best time. And then we have, and I, you know, I love Patrick. We're very good friends. But it's funny to see Lance do his thing and then have Benjamin Hay, Benjamin Dampty, this like really legit. He's got some singer. pipes, as you heard in season Tons one. Tons of stuff on iTunes. Yeah, I mean, look at him. Are you sure? It's not on the so it's just what an um, amazing contrast. And then we have Jeremy Redleaf just warming up, constantly yeah. warming up with those exercises. Yeah. Ben is a, a multi talented guy. He's a producer. Uh, a, he's a professional sweetheart. I, he, can say, I was going to say, sure. and just lovely. And yeah, obviously he's an actor because he's doing this as well. <laughs> And this is inspired by a real thing that happened to me. I had to go to an audition. It wasn't this song, but I was supposed to do a pop song. We, we were supposed to sing a specific pop, pop song that I had never heard of. Yeah. Um, and I, it's appropriate that I can't remember it now either. I think um, I remember it. But I ran into it. What was it? Wasn't it Lionel Richie dancing yes. on the ceiling? Yes. Because I couldn't believe that you didn't at least have, that you weren't at least a little familiar with it. Yeah, and I did run into a guy from college, so it was appropriate even. <laughs> and that part this, I didn't this dude, remember. his name is Vlad. Hey, Vlad. Uh, and I was like, Vlad, do you know the song? And he, he had it on his phone, so I asked to borrow his phone, and I crammed it up against my ear, and it didn't work. Oh. Because I didn't book it. You didn't book it. Well, come even close. Not like that really matters, as we've learned. True. It mattered in this case. At That's least. true. And a rare scene with the two of us. Yeah, which is important to do. And you've heard it. I think it's one of those songs where it's our baby. It is. It is. Let's try it. Okay. Just slate real quick, and then we'll just go right into it. And this is also a song that I don't really know very well. And I always do want to sing the line. It was September for the to start the song. Right. And that's not how the song begins. Right. Which we sort of did right here. You just said it. Yeah. Yeah, and then, but in real life, when you say that, I always correct you. Mm -hmm. I love this scene. I, oh, just strictly because of Pete. I just think, like, every episode, I think you just feel so much for Pete. Yeah. So I, I think you feel a lot for Valerie too. I, I think I think this shows that Valerie is is in it, and she's willing to help. If you're not a jerk. <laughs> yeah, like she's not miserable. <laughs> no. She's just, like she this is what she likes. This is decided this like ten minutes ago. Okay, this is the part This isn't rough for her. Yeah, you probably don't see Valerie this engaged in an audition except for somebody like Pete, maybe Keith. Okay, let's give him And Ellen, definitely with Ellen. Yeah, that's true. Ellen. Okay, ready? Her now roommate. <laughs> yeah, that's Ellen. Ellen's on a whole other level. They're like Yeah. Like for for Pete right now, like he's still we're still working a little bit. Yes. Yeah. And Kelly and I say, too, that our uh, Kelly Warren, who plays Ellen O'Shea, who's lovely and wonderful, um, we, we just joke about how our friendship in the show is basically just our friendship in real life. Mm -hmm. That's just that there's not a lot of... We're not digging deep in our, in our acting there. No as-ifs. Yes, no, we're, it's basically just us. Deeply rooted <laughs> character biographies and yeah, no. sense memory. Okay. No. So, so I dug Please right down to the bottom of my soul. Just, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I like to surprise Jillian with musical theater references that she would never think that I had in my head. Yeah. 
but Hi, Pete. guess what? Guess I used what? to watch the Chorus Line movie all the time. I wanted to be Mike because he had my name. And there then you I go. grew up and realized that I had none of his dancing ability. Yeah, there's that happens. Speaking of dancing ability, wait for wait, it. Wait, we're about to see your dancing ability. There, there it is. Ta-da! That's and the oh, fullest extent of it. <laughs> little PSA called Cast American. Yeah. Very weird PSA. Okay. Hello, Nick. Hey, Nick. Hey, well, I, um, Thank you. I love... Pete and Keith. I say that all the time. I'm sure you've heard me say it in several other episode commentaries, but I like seeing this part of their relationship too, because this is real. I mean, there you get pangs of kind of like, ugh, no matter how much you love the person, if you're waiting on something and your your inner voice is telling you that you suck and then something great happens, like I think that's totally normal and natural to be like, well, and really kind of have to muscle through and say, yeah, you know what? Good, good for you, man. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's all right. This is as true to my friendship with Nick as. As Valerie and Ellen is to you and Kelly, I'm sure. Especially yeah. back in the days when Nick and I lived together, which we did for a few years. Right. I think you saw a little bit of my uh, my crack there when I bent over to get the Snickers. Really? Yeah. So. I didn't notice. That's a, that's that's a screenshot that will hopefully never happen. Yeah. You guys rewind and see if it happens because <laughs> we can't but right please now. Please don't screenshot it. Yeah. I think it might you might have just gotten a flash of <laughs> the pale pale whiteness underneath the t-shirt. Like no actual Okay. No actual coin slot, if you will. Alright. Well if it was blatant and I let it in and that's it into the show, then that's my editing. Then that's on both of us because we stared at this true. and but I feel and like if it was blatant you would have known by now. You would have recognized it. That's true. This harkens back to season one, Nick drowning his sorrows and not getting a returned uh, friend request from you. Yeah. Um, this time it's waiting to hear back from that audition. Yeah, that is uh, our absinthe. It's real absinthe. It's real. We got it super cheap. I They're... find it to be disgusting. <laughs> we have like the spoon, the official spoon and the sugar. I know how to make, I know how to make a professional. Uh, yeah, we I just never serve do. It. Uh, Which is why we've had that bottle for, for how many years? A while. Yeah. Uh, and the last time we had it, I think I was the only one who did, and from what I remember, it was a very, was, the night had a bit of a green hue to it. Mm -hmm. Nick will, he will do anything for that laugh. I know. I, I love him for it. And he was really, I mean, everyone, too, I remember, like, Ed, you could hear him off camera going, like, oh, I mean, mm -hmm. absinthe is not an easy taste. <laughs> There's Nick once again. There it is. Doing anything for a laugh, and I'm laughing right now. I've yeah. seen this a million times. We got him a lovely flesh-colored dance belt. Yeah. Hopefully he still has it. Yeah. I'm sure it's behind glass somewhere <laughs> to commemorate the occasion. In the Smithsonian one day, maybe. <laughs> and there's J. Julian Christopher in a completely new outfit. We shot all of their stuff in the same day. Yes. You know, as a, as a director or producer, you, you try to do that so that people don't have to leave and come back on other days. You know, it's hard enough getting their schedules together. And they just brought all of these, like, amazing outfits with them. It was always, it's always very surprising to me. Yeah. J. Julian Christopher especially got so creative with all of these different suits. I love it. Yeah. And it's a, another thing that I, I love, too, is that we've all been there. So they don't really need to rehearse that much because what they're all so funny and so quick and so smart anyway. But they've all been there. They've all been in a situation as actors that has, makes them feel the way Keith is feeling right now. So it, it, in a very odd way, even though they're three of the nicest people I know, it comes kind of natural to them to be able to do this. And every time we, we call cut, Kathy Searle would just hug Nick and apologize yeah, for being, how, for being, so, for being mean. so mean. Nick's ascot and smoking jacket, courtesy of the <laughs> costume department at my alma mater, Holy Trinity Diocese yes. High School. Thank you, Ian Sullivan, who you'll see in, uh, you have seen in episode two of this season. Yes. Who teaches there, and uh, our friend Lenny Motzinger, director and former teacher, now retired extraordinaire. Yes. For going into the closet and getting all of these fun things for Nick. Yes, and trusting that we would get them back <laughs> in, uh, in right. wonderful condition. And Michael Torpy's trench coat and fedora came from them also. Yes. It's nice, you know, nice to have friends. It is. It's nice to have the hookup. It is. But if we didn't have the hookup, we'd still want to hang out. <laughs> true. It just makes me want to hang out with them more often. Or That's true. On yeah. a more regular basis. Yeah. Um, thank you guys so much. We uh, Stay tuned. The season finale, the season two finale commentary is coming up. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Get after it, Forrest. <laughs>